Sharkies. Is it important to do things God's way all the way? I don't think I, I heard that. Is it important to do things God's way all the way? That's right it is. We're gonna talk more about that today. I've been sent here by the great king himself You've been lied to by the enemy He tells lies and nothing else He says you can be king of your own world Satan wants to take you
God is holy. He is just. He created all things. He is love. God is holy. So big and I'm small. I bring nothing at all. Still, I want you to say, "Well done." You're so big and I'm small. I bring nothing at all to the perfect and holy one. But still, I come. God is holy. He is just. He created all things. He is love. He is love. about the city of Jericho and how faithfully Joshua and the Israelites followed exactly what was commanded of them. And they obeyed it perfectly and they were victorious, right? The city walls of Jericho did not stay up, they fell. Now God had some specific instructions for them when they were to go into the city of Jericho. He told them he wanted to have them destroy the city completely because of how wicked it was. So they were to destroy the city completely. They were now, another second rule was that they were not allowed to take anything for themselves. Not one thing, not one piece of jewelry, not one thing of gold, nothing. And then the third rule was that they were to take the gold, the silver, the iron, and the bronze, and they were to collect that for the Lord's treasury. And that was where they put, the treasury was where they put all the really expensive stuff that was worth a lot. Okay, now do you think that God was clear with his instructions? Let's see if we remember his instructions. God warned his people, if you don't follow these rules, there will be serious consequences, really, really bad consequences if you do not obey these three rules. Do you guys remember the three rules? One, let me hear it. That's right, to destroy the city of Jericho completely, right? Number two, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you had it. They weren't to take anything for themselves, not a single thing. And number three, mm -hmm, you got it. They were to take the gold, the silver, the bronze, and the iron only for the Lord's treasury. When the people of Israel, God's people, went to the city of Jericho, they were victorious. They won. The city walls fell down. But there was one man who did not listen to those three rules. He broke a very big rule, and his name was Achan. And Achan, 
he went into the city of Jericho and do you think he saw so many things there? And you know what he did? He saw it, he wanted it and desired it in his heart and he took it. A man named Achan, he did not follow the rules. He went around the city of Jericho and he saw things that he wanted. He desired it so much in his heart that he took things for himself. Sparkies, was that a rule? Yes, that was one of the rules. Achan's sin greatly upset and angered God. So obeyed God. Now, Ai was the next city of really bad, wicked people that God wanted the Israelites to destroy. And so they set out to go to that city and they knew, Joshua knew, they were going to be victorious, that God was going to be with them. But guess what happened? You're right, they were not victorious. They left running out of the city because they had not defeated that the people there. And Joshua was angry. He said, God, why did you leave us? Why did you not help us defeat this city of wicked people? And God said to him, there is someone amongst you that disobeyed me and my instruction for you. When you find them out and when you are able to name that person who it was, then you will be victorious. So Joshua did not know who the man was, but God knew. And early the next morning, Joshua began the big job of finding the one person who disobeyed God. He called the people to come in front of him. And as each group of people came, God told Joshua, no, no one here has done it. And then God showed Joshua exactly who broke the rules. God showed Joshua that Achan was the man who sinned, and now Achan could not hide his sin anymore. Do you think God was really upset about Achan's sin? Yes, he was really sad. He was angry. He does not want us to steal from others. And he had given this instruction to them to protect them. This punishment that he had on Achan showed God's people that there is serious punishment when people sin and disobey against God. It is important for us always to remember it is more important to do it God's way all the way to be protected from discipline. This time when the people of Israel went to battle they were not chased away. God helped them win. So, does God want us to obey? Come on, Sparkies. Does God want us to obey? Yes, he wants it his way all the way. Achan's sin created a heart. Do you know what that heart looked like? It looked like a hard heart. It was a hard heart that disobeyed and sinned against God. It hurt God that Achan's sin hardened his heart so much that he could not follow God and trust him with his life. The Bible says in Romans 3.23 that we have all sinned. We have all fallen short. We have all disobeyed against God. I'm sure you could tell mom and dad right now, try right now, come up with one thing you have done, maybe even today, to disobey. God promises us a way out. God has a solution to that problem, right? God has provided Jesus and he poured out on Jesus perfectly. 
that's amazing. And when we turn from our sins and put our trust in Christ, God gives us a new heart. He takes that heart, hard heart, that's like stone. It would hurt if I tried to rub this against my cheek. Ow. That's a hard heart. He changes our heart to a soft heart. One that looks like this. One that wants to trust God, wants to follow God, wants God to be the Lord of their life, and delights in following God's law. In Joshua 24, 24, it says, And the people said unto Joshua, The Lord our God will we serve, and his voice will we obey. And that's what I want us to remember today. It's more important to do it God's way, all the way. All right, Sparkies, I'll see you next week. Bye.